As a society, we need to create policies that champion all parents, enabling the American family to thrive. My dad agrees, and he's in a very unique position to do something about this problem and the numerous other problems facing tens of millions of parents and caregivers across our country. Too often, those who have power have disdain for the views, beliefs, and attitudes of those who don't have any political power. Those in leadership must put themselves in the shoes of the laid-off factory worker, the family worried about security, or the mom struggling to afford child care. Child care is such a big problem. The first part of my child care plan allows for every parent or family in America, including adoptive parents and foster parent guardians, to deduct their child care expenses from their income taxes. That's a first. Families with a stay-at-home parent will be able to fully deduct the average cost of child care from their taxes. It's a big thing. Wow. Immediate family and employers, can, and this is like right away, can also contribute to a dependent account, each of which is designed and designated for a specific child, including an unborn child. The money that is put into these accounts can also be spent not only on child care, but also child enrichment activities. I'd see. We'll start with that child. That will be our first child. By recapturing fraud and improper payments in the unemployment insurance program, we can provide six weeks of paid maternity leave to any mother with a newborn child whose employer does not provide the benefit. 